Five, four, three, two, one. Hey! Let's go! Bet! Yo! Good morning, everyone! Welcome to day Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day five of our New York trip. We're currently just getting ready to go out. We've got so much planned today. We've got um, Intrepid Sea Space Museum, uh, Natural History Museum, Radio City Music Tour. It's really sunny today. And we've got the ride in the evening, which is, it's like a bus, but you, you sit sideways on the bus and outside on the street, they've got um, performances going on and that. So it's really looking forward to that. Um, Really nice day today, so I'm probably only gonna, gonna wear a jumper, I won't wear my jacket today. And uh, once again, I've got lemon and lime gator this morning, it's a little bit green, so let me try and open this. There we go, so we've got, that, got this open now, so let's nice and now let's see what this one tastes like. <sighs> tastes like um, lemon Robinsons, really nice. I don't know what any more flavours we've got to go. I know there's a Glacier Freeze one, which is like a light blue. I'm not sure if there's a purple one, which is like pomegranate, I want to say, but I might be completely wrong. But um, I try different ones every time. Um, but yeah, New York's looking nice and sunny. So we're going to head out um, on day five's adventure. We're nearly there. We just got breakfast. I got an iced hazelnut coffee. Didn't realise you had to put the milk in yourself, so I was drinking it thinking this is horrible. There you go. Um, the USS Intrepid. This is the museum. So you can see just the tip of there. Oh, where is it? Where is it? There, that, that. Now I can't remember the name of it. I think it's like a Black Widow or something like that. Um, it's got the Concorde on it. We're gonna go in there now. Yeah. And uh, let's see what it's like. So we're currently on the USS Growler, which is a submarine. And it's very compact shall I say look my head's literally scraping look at that and we got to squeeze through stuff like this like that imagine imagine working down here all the time it's actually crazy oh, look is that a toilet there's the toilet oh my god look look at this look it's crazy well they said they worked on down here how many years was it they said five oh and we got, I've got a fit through there. And they, they, they did it all voluntarily as well. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> I made it. It's the same one that we came through. Look at that. There's your kitchen. Oh. Was that the officers meet and they had meals and they socialised? It's so tiny, isn't it? Imagine this underwater, how scared you would be. See if you can see what I'm doing. Some torpedoes that they fired out. But I'm now walking up the stairs to um, to get on the top of the submarine. It's pretty sick. Yeah, it's so tired and cramped. It's a submarine. Oh, the door's so heavy. So now walking on top of a submarine, which is pretty cool. New York in the background. We're going to head over to the shuttle now, I think, next. Let's see what all the space is about. So now time for a little bit of British history. Um, the Concord. This is a, um, obviously it's the, such a cool plane to look at, here you go, have a look. And the, um, cause obviously it was the fastest plane. It crashed a lot of times as well. So, I, we're going on it, we're gonna have a look. I'll take a couple of pictures, take a couple of videos of it. Um, look at the nose of that. So in the end we wasn't able to get onto the Concorde because it's an extra $45 to be able to get onto it. Um, so we've ended up coming onto the uh, the Intrepid itself. It's a lot more spacious than the submarine, which I imagine so. And this, we're currently in near the mess room. Obviously they've got the glass to stop anyone messing around with anything, but a lot more bigger in here, obviously being a battle, no it's not a battleship, it's an aircraft carrier. And we're going to head up to the roof, get in the elevator now and um, go have a look at some of them. We're on the flight deck. 
the massive, big, I don't even know what it is, big thing. I was just speaking to the, uh, the he said he's a Vietnam veteran, he works here. Um, give me a bit of history about the Intrepid that was used in uh, Okinawa. He had tours in Vietnam. There's a Harrier jet just behind me. Um, we're going to head down down the end of the flight deck now because there's a Black Hawk. It was called a Black Hawk. I had to ask him. I, th I thought it was a Black Widow, but it's called a Black Hawk. Um, he said they don't use them anymore because you get. Cause it, but it was a drone, basically, and because you don't need men in uh, aircraft anymore. Um, because it's all controlled remotely in that, with uh, UAV in that. So uh, they, 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 they decommission most of them now. Um, and actually on Google Maps, you can type in Black Hawk, and it'll tell you all the locations where you can find a Black Hawk. And this is one of them, here. So hopefully you can hear me with the wind, but yeah, this is the Black Hawk. Look how long it is, it's so cool. Imagine being the guy there, flying this thing. Oh, it's just crazy. It somehow doesn't look real, it looks like it's carbon, but you can tell it's all, it is all metal. I'm going to try and head back to the, uh, the back now. They've got jets like this. They're, that's an F-16 fighter jet. They're, they're probably still, yeah, they are still running. Obviously, that one's decommissioned. But um, let's look at the back here. It's really windy. Obviously, they bolted it, a uh, little red panel on there. That's the back of the Black Hawk. There's a little bit of New York for you. UPS. Yeah, really cool being on USS Intrepid on a real life aircraft carrier used in the Vietnam War. Pretty cool. So, actually, after looking at the poster, the guy called it a Black Hawk, which might be called a Black Hawk, but it's actually more commonly referred to as a Blackbird. And that's what I remember it being called. It's I've reminded myself now. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Look at that. You can pause it if you want to have a read. But the Lockheed A12 Blackbird. So cool. So it might be quite dark now, but this, where is it? Ugh. Is the USS Enterprise. <laughs> it's like from Star Trek. I don't watch Star Trek, but it's a shuttle, a space shuttle. And it's massive. I did not realize how big they are. You can try and get a little shot of it here. That's just a nose. Literally just a nose. Here you go. Have a, have a deeper look. So it starts here and goes all the way back down there. I did not realise how big shuttles are. Honestly, did not realise. That is a big aeroplane. Space shuttle. We've got a list here of all the shuttles in America. So you've got the Endeavour, the Atlantis, the Discovery. The Challenger, the Columbia, and what we're next to, the Enterprise. All really cool. We're in a New York taxi. It's so cool. We're in the Museum of Modern Art. I'm not much of an art fan, to be honest. I am. But I'm an art fan. Dylan is. I like the Mona Lisa. That's in France. Uh, it's actually in London. No, it's not. It's in the Louvre. Um, yeah. There's a lot of art going on. Um, intriguing stuff. Oil painting. Another oil painting. Third oil painting. I'm a bit lost in here. So I found a bit of art that I know. Is Andy Warhol, War, Andy Warhol's Gold Marilyn Monroe. I've seen this on Google. Pop art, I think it's called. Pop art, isn't it? Pop art. Pop art. Yeah, pop art. It's the art that pops. Pretty cool. Have a close up. That's pretty cool. But I know that one. I don't know any of the others. So I found something in this art gallery. That is Star Wars. I, have, I don't know what it is. It's got a lightsaber. And then there's a guy. So we've got Star Wars. We've also got a gym. 
kid. I don't know. They've got, they've got punch bags. Oh, they've got little little punch kicking bag, kicking strike bags. All in this little in the, in the modern art. They've got a, they've got a gym. Oh my god. So this art is pretty cool. I do like that one. But I've got a weird question. Is what is going on here? I've got no idea what's going on here. So we are at the Museum of Modern Art now. Just heading up 6th Avenue to 50th Street. We're not at the Museum of Modern Art anymore. Well, yeah, we left, we left. So we're heading over to the Radio City Music Hall tour. Um, obviously, they've got loads of concerts there. They hold the Tonys every year in June. Um, we're going to probably find out other events that they held here, but obviously it's quite an iconic venue. So, unfortunately, the inevitable has happened. My selfie slip snapped, and my phone dropped on the floor, and it's cracked the screen. The glass. Only Luckily, it's only the glass. Right at the bottom of the phone, so... A little bit annoying, but I'll just get it replaced. Um, so I won't be using the selfie stick anymore, I'm going to throw it in the bin. Um, it was good while it worked, but yeah, not anymore. Yeah, there's cracks, it's only a small crack. Um, but it's not, it's a dent. I don't know, it's like glass. Glass is smashed. So I need to get glass replaced, I'm not got insurance. That's quite annoying. Um, but yeah, no, I'll get it replaced when I get back home to the UK. Um, our Radio City tour is, um, we can't do it till Wednesday now. So we're going to do it Wednesday. What we're going to do now is just head straight over to the Natural History Museum. I carry on the vlog, don't need the selfie stick, crack phone, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a pain but who cares, we're still in New York, so it doesn't really matter. Hopefully we're not going to see any cavemen jumping out of that window, because we are at the Natural History Museum. I'll show you a close up picture in a minute, or like a video. It's uh, cool, because this has been in so many films. Obviously Night at the Museum with Ben Stiller, Night at the Museum 2 with Ben Stiller. This is probably a night museum three somewhere. Um, there's Central Park as well here. It's so cool to see you again. Look, there we are. Hey, Central Park. Not Central Park. We're talking about Natural History Museum. Um, I tell you what, in New York they've got loads of these vendors. Um, they all smell the same as well. It's a bit dodgy. But here you go. Here's a here's a look of it. So exciting to go in here. Uh, probably one of these windows as well where he jumped out of. Um, the caveman, and he ran across into Central Park. Let's uh, let's go more central, shall we? See a bit more of these vans. They do. That one smells nice. This one. Oh, you see your pigeons at the top as well. Hey guys, let's have a crossing. Oh, I can remember the film Stuart Little as well. Wasn't it Stuart Little? It filmed here. Pretty sure it was. There you go. I think, is that Theodore? No, it's not Theodore. Yeah, it is Theodore Roosevelt. It says it right there. Theodore Roosevelt. So cool to see that. Let's get inside. So we were just about to head into the Natural History Museum. I noticed that that cart went past as Nathan's, and Nathan's a well famous hot dog. So I had to get one. So this is a uh, hot dog and chili one. Um, honestly, they, they, all these vlogs are like food vlogs. They've been doing so much food vlogs. Um, I'm going to try and have a bite, see what's like. Okay, I got no hot dog then, hang on. Oh, very good. That is good. Come over here. Dylan's also doing a vlog. I think he's doing a vlog. You got a... I got the chili hot dog. Five past one. Eat your lap. He's doing a vlog. I'm doing a vlog. We're both vlogging. If you want to see Dylan's videos... Actually, I'm not vlogging. I'm FaceTiming, but fine. Dylan's FaceTiming, but fine. Yeah. Um, if you want to see Dylan's videos, it's on... What's your channel? Dylan Lee vlogs. Dylan Lee vlogs. So after getting the hot dog, I saw the car, I got a pretzel. So we're going to walk up the stairs to the Natural History Museum. And obviously, hopefully, you've got that view of the massive circle thing in the middle. And the moving lion. And the dum dum. The dum dee dum dum gum gum. Event. Where well, we're going to go first, this way. Oh, oh, oh. Look. <gasps> look. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. That's a big dinosaur thing. I've been told that, do you know the circle desk in the museum film? It's not actually real. This is the main entrance. There's no grand circle thing with the massive stairs. So, that's a bit disappointing. I thought it was 
circle desk and everything, but hey ho. We're now in the Natural History Museum. We're going to look at American history and dinosaurs and butterflies, apparently, because the butterfly garden in there. Buffalo soldier. Straight now, Rasta. Taken from Africa. Gone to America. I just felt like I had to do that. It fit in really nicely. You've got all the animals here. Really cool. And look at the elephant dance. Elephant dance. Pretty cool. Everything, everything about New York is pretty cool. If you notice, I just say pretty cool about everything. Yeah, look. Pretty cool. We're currently in the Egyptian civilization part of it. And I'm pretty sure, is this the tablet of Achman Ra? It definitely looks similar. I mean, you've got all the, um, Hieroglyphics on it. You do realize this is the Ach tablet of Ach You do realize that he is a made up character, yes? No. I want to find Dum Dum Gum Gum. So, we just finished a uh, tour as a volunteer lady going around, Anne, who was helping explaining stuff, and she ended up taking us a tour for about probably an hour. 45 minutes to an hour just of everything. But we come up to something now which you. Uh, you most definitely recognise if I was to say dum dum gum gum dum dum gum gum so cool now look at the size of this dinosaur its head literally has to pop out of the uh, of, of, of the exhibition area I suppose look at the size of it it is absolutely massive so his head literally comes out the door. This is all real bone. It's massive. Absolutely massive. And he's got these ones as well. Some people aren't happy to see the dinosaur. But I am, it's absolutely massive. We've just stopped up at the hotel, just to chill out a bit, we've been walking all morning and our legs are absolutely aching, my back is shot. Um, so we're back out again, we're just walking down 10th Avenue and trying to get to 42nd Street. From there we're going to get on the, uh, it's like an experience called the ride, where you sit facing sidewards and the bus drives, but on the outside there's street performers and it's like, it's like a tour as well of uh, Times Square and that. So that's something to look really look forward to. Um, yeah, so we'll jump on that now and I'll tell you what it's about when it's finished. So here's the example of uh, one of them trucks I was talking about. Look at the size of that. You will never, I don't, you never get that in a, in UK. Look at it in compared to me. See, I'm six foot four and it's massive. It's so big. And obviously they've got the big pipes up at the top as well. Such big trucks. Everything's bigger in America, so fair enough. The cars are like the Cadillacs. It's just massive, massive cars. And they always think like there's some sort of like um, famous person because they tint the front windows as well, so you can't see in at all. Yeah, massive truck. So this is 42nd Street. Um, we're currently on, yeah, Broadway. This is Broadway. Um, we just head over to Chevy's now, and you see there's two black buses there. One of them is the uh, the ride, and we're about to get run over. Oh dear. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're good. So yes, this is the bus we're about to go on. And there's already a queue, we've already got a ticket, so we haven't got a queue at all. So yeah, this is gonna be an experience. Let's see what it's like. So we're getting on. This is the ride. Do you want to sit at the back or the front? Sheffield, you made it. Is that right? Welcome to the ride. Sheffield, is everyone here from Sheffield? I love New York too. Is it much family? Oh, it's good. My head. Look at this shot and see it. All the way to the other side. Look at We're going all the way to the end. Oh, whose birthdays? We're going right in the corner. Both birthdays. Look at this. Hey, Dad. Hey. This is exciting. Later in the. Oh, later in the. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna ask one more time. Are you ready to get this ride started? Yeah! There we go. That's
accept that. Well, we should introduce ourselves. Oh, yes. Take a look down that way. You're going to see my best friend since grade seven. She's a tour guide. She knows more about New York than five of you. Her name is Jackie. Can everyone say hi, Jackie? Hi, hi Jackie. Jackie. Aw, thanks, new friends. Now, if you draw your attention to that side of the okay. bus, the strapping, handsome gentleman oh, will be be colored hot orange pants. <laughs> In his spare time, he is a model of ugly sweaters. That is my good friend, Scott. Everyone say hello, Scott. Hello, hello Scott. Scott. Hi, Emily. How are you? <laughs> uh, I got one more introduction for you guys. Well, both of us do. He's our best friend, our BFF, our bus friend forever. Can you guys say hello, the ride? Hello, hello the ride. ride. Oh, you broke. Hey guys, I'm the ride. Oh no, it talks. Hold it's on tight, because you're about to experience the greatest place in the world. This is New York City! In three, two, one. Good morning, enjoy the scene. It's a treat, you're about to see something sweet. New York City has a silly and serious, and inside the ride is the best experience. Hey guys, Change the show, the show changes you. So come on, let's go. <laughs> 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 People are cheering for that right now. They can finally go. Right. But let's get to the square right away. One, two, three. Hi, this is the right spot, yeah. the wrong time. It's definitely the middle of March, and That's it's definitely true. not flip-flop weather. It's almost always the right time, because today is tomorrow's new year. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna That's the philosophy I live by. That's a positive attitude. Yeah. Well, are you celebrating all by yourself out yeah. there? Nah. The end of March? Nah, I got my family right here. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. I love my little sister. I see the resemblance. Uh, she's protective of your little sister. There's a, there's a bit of a debate going on in the family. Oh. It's, it's a little rough. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Hey. Tina! New York City was on a grid system and he thought that's horrible. It's too rigid. New Yorkers need a break. We're not at, we're not at work all the time. So he designed Central Park to look like the foothills of the Adirondacks. Also parts of it to look like the Catskills. And there are no straight angles inside. It's all winding paths. Yeah. That's right. So we're now just heading back to the hotel to grab Dylan's camera equipment because tonight we're going up to the Empire State to look at uh, New York in the uh, evening this time. Um, as well as that, we're going to go on Fifth Avenue, which I just learned from the ride that Fifth Avenue is known for its shopping, Sixth Avenue is its advertising, Seventh Avenue being Broadway's entertainment, and Eighth Avenue, where we're on at the minute, is known for its uh, restaurants. As you can see, there's loads of restaurants. 
and loads of people as well so it's pretty cool and just like London gift shops everywhere so I just got my coat from the hotel room so it's obviously it's chilly tonight and we're going up the Empire State so it's gonna be freezing and um, just heading over to get to the subway to go to burger joint um, famous, not, not a famous burger place, but it's well known, popular, is it famous? Famous place in New York called Burger Joint. Um, to get a burger, and then we head up the Empire State. We do a little bit of shopping as well, because Empire State's bang on Fifth Avenue. Um, so looking forward to that, and see what the skyline, yeah, see what the skyline is, see what the skyline is like in the dark. So we are now in Burger Joint, which is a little bar, sort of burger place like this but we've been queuing up for about 45 minutes and my back is hurting so much right now um, but it's meant to be really nice it's hidden there's no signs for it so you have to look for it I thought it's probably best to vlog it but yeah this is the burger so I've got a cheeseburger and then there's all the fries uh, I'm trying to be healthy this holiday but it's really not working so we're now heading up to the Empire State building um, it's nighttime outside so we're gonna get some awesome views of the skyline. Yep, we're just getting our tickets with the New York parties that we got. Makes everything a lot cheaper and quite smooth because we miss out all the queues. Um, it's really fancy up here. So what I'll do, I'll catch you when we're going up in the elevator. When we reach the top, we see what it's like on the 102nd floor. Welcome to the world's most famous building and you get to see it built. Keep your arms and legs inside and keep your eyes open. See those hot rivets flying through the air? Oh, nice catch, Lou! Get those planks out of the way, huh? Hey, straight, straight, straight. Oh, hey, watch it. We're coming up here. My ears are popped. So we are on the 80th floor, um, this is our view at the minute, we're in the inside bit, um, but we obviously we're going to head up to the 86th floor and then head up to the 102nd floor, uh, which I, okay we might be able to do 102nd, we're not sure, um, but we're going to head up there now and see what the view is like, so let's see what the view is like on the other side, we're looking down at Lower Manhattan and um, with the one World Trade Center, the Freedom Tower. And now we are on the 86th floor, we're in the open air, and this is the view, look at the railings in the way, it's the one world trade centre there, um, you can see so far, so far up here, um, let's go around to the other side, oh, I'm still here, there's a lot of people up here and it's quite dark, they should really get some, some lights or something, because you can't even see me, look, but I'm going to show you the Chrysler now, look at this, here's the Chrysler, so many lights, so many lights. I'm sorry, it keeps going out of focus, isn't it? Here you go, take a look like this. Yeah, so there's the Chrysler. And you've got the bridges. So, so full of light. If you go down this way, trying to dodge people. Dodge, 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 dodge. Right to the corner. Got a little corner to myself. I'm not putting my phone, I'm too scared to put my phone out, but there you go. World Trade Center. I'm going to zoom in on it. The Freedom Tower. So cool. Actually, look there. We're even closer this time to the Statue of Liberty. Because last time we were over at the Rockefeller Center, being top of the rock. I'm really scared. It's quite windy up here. I don't want to drop my phone. I've already smashed it. Only a little bit, but yeah. So, what I'm going to do now, I've already set the binoculars up. But if I go in on the binoculars, you should be able to see the Statue of Liberty there. Oh, it's hard to get in. There you go, in like that. No, no, hang on. We go in there. What you can do in there, you zoom in. And there's your Statue of Liberty. What we can try and do is if we go this way, and then if we aim it towards the World Trade Center there. You too. That's all right. 
Right, there we go in here. And there's the World Trade Center. So, we're just about to leave, up, being up here on top of the Empire State Building. It's absolutely freezing up here. Um, <laughs> I'd imagine it too, but that's why I grabbed my coat because I knew it would be horrible. But such a cool view being up here. But uh, I'm going to end today's vlog. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow we've got Lower Manhattan, so we'll be down in that area. We're going around Brooklyn, uh, Statue of Liberty, Wall Street, um, obviously 9 11 Memorial, which I've been looking forward to going to visit, and the museum. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, stay tuned for more tomorrow. Before you go, I've got something to finish off with. Glacier Frost Cherry Flavoured Gatorade. Oh, that one is the best. Like and subscribe.